Good morning, enemies of my enemies. To remind you, this week is the beta release of GNOME 45, which also means is the UI freeze. After that point, no new features are allowed to introduce, so whatever has been done, that's it. In the front of actual new things, we don't have much. Looking at the release notes of 45 Alpha and the commits after, I'd say this settings release is mostly a bug-fixing release. So, don't expect it to rock your world with the new capabilities, although it could do from a different direction, and that is the visual department. Because we have the port to our white components 1.4 as you already guessed. Or most accurately, a merge request that is pending a review, but I'm pretty positive it will land to beta. Let's not waste any more time and get to the changes, maybe? Okay. First and best is the port to our writer navigation split view that gives this two columns with flat header bars effect that adds depth when needed, of course. And all the panels inside have been ported to our writer toolbar view that basically implements the concept of single pages and it has improved adaptability. Another visual improvement that makes navigation and discovery much simpler is the grouping of privacy properties. So all the privacy settings are now displayed on the main view without corrupting the sidebar, which is a core principle of GNOME design and very annoying when the opposite happens. For example, mm -hmm. Another change that will make settings more expressive is some work on the about item that is going to be renamed to system. This is work in progress, and it won't make it to GNOME 45, but the idea is to have something like this mockup that includes the regional options and even the user accounts. And speaking of users accounts, it reminds me my biggest complaint of everything, which is the absence of GNOME accounts that will potentially allow us to sync settings and apps preferences. Ironically, we have this one-month-old initiative that proposes a more personal user experience and links to an one-year-old mock-up. Let me read it for you. So, on other platforms, it's becoming common for the settings application to have a top-level item that displays the current user and usually the related online account integration. For example, a Microsoft account on Windows. And below on designs, we have our stupid and pointless avatar together with the online accounts. So, I'm asking you, how much more pathetic and sad could possibly be than opening GNOME settings and the first thing to see is your Google account, because there is not even a viable alternative. <laughs>